Hi guys, and we're back again. This time, just going to be going over the TP command, um, what it is, and how you can use it. Um, so I think we'll just start off just with a simple one. Obviously, we'll just do the actual TP command. Um, so for that, you want to open up your chat bar, forward slash TP. Um, depending on who you want to do it, if it's yourself, will be at S, uh, which this time it will be. Um, at A is at all players, um, at P is the closest player, etc. It does explain that on there. So TP at S, and then you want to put the coordinate. Um, so I don't actually know what coordinate to go to, so we'll do 0, um, 10, 0. And that will take us to that coordinate right there. So that's it in essence, that is the TP command. And what we're going to do now, just going to put it into use using a few different methods and what we'll do is we'll start off with the first one probably the easiest um, it's just using a button method so what you got is a command block under there you press your button and you are TP to your destination which is over here and um, this can be used for um, elevators as well it does work really good with elevators if you just have it at the bottom room here and um, you go in you press your elevator button and it TPs you up um, We'll go through the commands for them at the end actually, and I'll show you through all of them. This is a sort of custom portal you can make, so making a portal to TP you somewhere. Um, and all you got to do is just walk through it, and it will TP you here again. And last but not least, this one's a, a tiny bit more complicated, but really not that complicated, it's only three commands. So we'll take one of these ones here. Um, called TP1 and all we got to do is chuck it at the ground and we're here again so those are the three main ones that I use and we'll just go through the commands now this one starting off is the simplest and it's one command and it's pretty much exactly what I showed you at the start so TP at P um, and the coordinate the coordinate I got by just walking over there and just noting down the coordinate on the top left which I think was here so note down that uh, note down that coordinate. TP at P. So I've done the closest person. So that will be whoever actually is closest and taps the button. Um, and then the coordinate. That'll be an impulse unconditional needs redstone. Uh, you can do a delay in ticks if you want. If you don't want them to P TP straight away, uh, if you do it 20 ticks, it'll be like a second delay. 40 ticks will be two seconds, etc. Right now, if we move on to here. Hang on, where are we? It's now two commands. And what I've done is I've started off with a repeat unconditional always active command. Um, and I've put this one on a 20, 20 tick delay, so that's only a one second delay. And what it's doing here is testing for any player at the range of two. And that, so that's a test for space at A, so any player. A square bracket R equals two, so by the range of two, and then close the bracket. As you can see, no targets match the selector, but obviously when somebody runs through, it will. Um, following on from that, obviously in a chain, so the arrows have got to be following on. Um, we're going to do the actual TP command, so same as the first one, it's TP space at P, so the closest player, uh, and then the same coordinates, or whatever coordinates you want to go to. This has got to be a chain, and then conditional, always active. The reason it's conditional is because it's got to have the last block agree once it does agree and finds a person in that radius, um, it will then say yes to this one and it will go through teleporting. And that's all you need for that one. Last but not least, and probably my favourite method, because you can use it for anything um, uh, from TPing back to spawn. Um, you can use it to, for admin tools if they want to get into somewhere that nobody else can get into. And this is only three commands, just with a couple of repeaters and a comparator. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a one repeating command block. And what that is doing is test test for at E, so it's testing for an entity. So that would be anything that we drop down. Um, square bracket type equals item comma name equals, and this is where you want to uh, do the name that you want. So you got your sort of quotation sorry equals, and then the quotation marks. Uh, the actual name that I wanted was forward slash TP1. You can choose whatever name you want. Um, then end quotation mark and then the square bracket to close it. That will be your first one. And that was a repeat unconditional always active. That then goes with a comparator facing that way. Repeater again. Um, I've slowed down the ticks otherwise it goes a bit too fast so slow it down a bit. 
this command block is. Uh, it's going to be executing a command at the item. So execute at E, square brackets, type equals item, name equals, and then the same as last time. So obviously my one's forward slash TP1 in the quotation marks. After that space, uh, squiggly, 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 with a space in the middle. Um, I don't think that actually matters, but I always put a space there anyway. Uh, TP at P and then the same coordinates or whatever coordinates you want it to um, sorry the player to TP to after that one more repeating command block um, just with a three tick delay and the last one is going to be killing the item so you don't have the item just floating about there and um, that'll be a kill at E so that's uh, the entity square bracket type equals item Na uh, comma name equals and then the name you've chosen again with the square bracket and that's a impulse unconditional needs redstone same as this one here so that is the three commands you need <coughs> and that will be that so you've got um, your three ways there you can use that on uh, your realms multiplayers um, obviously you can name different items and put it to different uses and they can TP all around the map real easy so anyway guys, thank you for watching, hope you can leave a like and subscribe, bye bye.